hi, I'm back. All right, today is what? I think it's Wednesday, the 15th. I have news. I told you in another video, my dog was dying. She was a 15 year old Shih Tzu named Muffin. And yeah, I wanna tell you a little story first before I tell you how she passed, okay? So, not last night, but the night before, I had a dream. I don't dream usually because I've had repeating nightmares since I was a child, but I had a dream. And in the dream, there was no background. There was this beige uh, dog laying very regal on its stomach with its paws out. In the dream, I noticed it was beige, I had pointy ears, and the dog stood up like a person, but it still had the body of a dog. And the dog just was very regal looking, very proud. And I felt respect and love for it. And then I woke up, went to the bathroom, came back, and something told me to remember. So when I woke up in the morning, it was the first thing I remembered. And so I talked to a wise woman and told her about my dream. And she said that it was a spirit guide that guides animals, helps them cross over to the spirit world when they pass. And the, anim the animal's name is Rena. So I looked it up, I researched it, and uh, sure enough, I find a statue of a beige dog with pointy ears laying exactly the same way I seen it. So my heart filled with joy because I knew she was being guided. Yes. And then, Okay, this morning, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, went to go to the bathroom, and I couldn't go back to sleep, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't go back to sleep. I only had like four, five, six hours sleep, and I need eight hours, usually. So, um, I decided, yeah, oh well, I'm awake. I was laying there, and I heard my dog get up and walk from the foot of my bed over to in front of me, and she laid down. And I waited for a little while, and then I sat up, and I turned on the light, and I looked at her, and she was still breathing. So I reached out, and I petted her. I stroked her along her back and told her I loved her. And I opened the window and went and got my tea, made myself a tea. Um, I was sitting here, and around 6 o'clock in the morning, I looked at her again because she hadn't moved and noticed that she wasn't breathing. So I reached down and I touched her, and yeah, she, she was passed. She, her, her heartbeat was gone, her breath had stopped. So I'm grateful. I asked the Creator to let her pass peacefully, okay? And that's exactly what she did. And that Rena spirit guide took her, helped her cross into the spirit world. It's a beautiful thing. I am so grateful. I really am. One could almost say magical. Now she's at peace and I know she's in a better place because when we pass, we reincarnate. There is no forever, like in that darkness kind of thing. No. And animals are the same way. So energy never dies and we're made of energy. So yeah. She's in a beautiful new world, roaming, jumping, running. I couldn't be happier, right? So, yeah, that's my news. Some might think it's bad news. I love her dearly. Her spirit will always be in my heart. I'm not worried about that. And I'm, I'm grateful, I'm happy that she's gone to a better place. Yay, muffin, my girl. All right, hopefully I will have a good evening tonight. I feel for her, I really do. I've cried and stuff, but that's all part of me letting go, releasing it so that it doesn't stay in my body. Yeah, all right, so I love you all. Have a wonderful day, okay? Bye.